Hello everyone, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel, Tune Into Love. Thank you so much for joining me for another Pick A Card reading. This Pick A Card came through as, what does love have in store for you? So take a few moments to tune in to the four different groups, one, two, three, and four. Breathe, really tune into your intuition, your feelings. What does love have in store for you? Thank you all for subscribing. Please do if you haven't already, liking, commenting, sharing the videos. I truly appreciate you for that. And please do connect with me on my social media and all, all those links are down below in the description. And I will put timestamps in the comments for all of you lovely, beautiful souls. Let's just get right into it. So group number one, thank you so much for tuning in. I love all of you. I appreciate all of you. So let's see what love has in store for you. We have the four of swords, page of swords, five of wands. Let me just lay all the cards out here. We have risk, agor, mastery, new life. Door to spirit. Ask from the angels. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Mother, wife, sister, daughter, Lady Nada. Reach out. This is the Three of Pentacles here. Iceberg submerged. Clear out the old, number five. Look at this. Change. There's a lot of change happening for you here. Heal thyself, number 24. Follow the moon, number 13. Am I good enough for you? And wedding rings. Union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Oh my goodness. Group number one. So there's a lot happening right now in your world. So much. I feel it. I know. This is, um, this is when love really, really exemplifies itself in the most purest forms, the most magical forms. When we're really going through stuff and we really, we really do need, need the guidance, right? Oh my goodness. I lost my voice there for just a second. And, and what it feels like is like, you know, when something happens, I see conflict here and some disturbances. I see you really um, going within to meditate, listen to your higher self, um, focus in the physical reality, co-creating your income, all of that. It's like, but when something happens in our world that really shakes us up, it can literally physically impact us in such a way where it's like, we may not speak our truth when we normally would, or we may not go out and do the things we normally would. And that's because something's happened and our body, our soul, our mind, our heart is asking for healing before we can move forward. Because once something happens, once, once, once something's been shaken up, there's, you know, pretending it didn't happen is no good, right? Love recognizes it. Love swoops in. This love is what heals. Love is the remedy. Love is the strength, the courage, the fortitude to stand strong in your truth, to stand strong in your emotional well-being, your mental well-being, your physical, psychological, your well-being completely. Okay. There's a lot of, um, there's so much support around you right now. Your soul really wants you to know that whatever thoughts of not feeling good enough, of not feeling like you're with the right people or just not being the right person, those thoughts are all rooted in other people's projections that are not real. They're not based upon the truth of who you are. The truth of who you are is light, love. You are an infinite, valuable, priceless soul, worthy of everything this world has to offer, okay? No matter what. I feel like there's a lot of... Um, intuitive visions and knowings and feelings that you're being shown right now. There's a lot beyond, be, there's a lot, it's interesting. <laughs> it wanted to come out as there's a lot before the surface. <laughs> so it's like when these, when these types of situations occur where we feel like there is, um, 
It's like we really have to stand strong to whatever it is that's inspiring us, to our vision, to it. It's like the people around us that don't agree with what we're doing or they think that what we're doing may lead us down the wrong path or whatever it is, whatever their reason is. I feel like they're, it's like your soul's really asking you to accept that other people have other opinions, that other people may not see you as good enough for them. However, you are more than good enough. And I see this wedding rings card here. It's like this union, this sacred connection with your own soul and really allowing you to break free of any sort of energies that were holding you back in the past. There's a lot of intuitive feelings that are arising for you right now. You're really being guided to speak to your higher self, to pray to the universe, to pray to your guides, your angels. This is a time in your life that's really opening you up to your spirit, your soul, your soul guidance, your soul wisdom, the, the conscious support of energetic presences around you like angels and guides or just like through your consciousness, um, picking up on the collective wisdom and strength and courage. I feel like there's healing here around your mother, wife, sister, daughter. So the feminine energy, it's rooted somewhere within your own family conditioning, your own, um, how whatever the women went through in your life is impacting you now. Um, how they were able to move through certain situations, certain patterns, family beliefs, things that are coming up to be seen right now to the surface. They've been submerged unconsciously for a very long time. You're really being guided to trust the cycles of nature, the moon, the shadows, okay? Whatever it is that's being revealed to you from inside of you, deep within you, it's allowing you to really see it and clear out the old, to clear out the programs, the patterns, the beliefs, the thought processes that do not serve anyone anymore in any way, shape, or form. That's what leads to, you know, my way is better than your way. It's kind of like it feels like this, like, my way or the highway and you know what you're being guided to do and you also can feel what is right what is true you're rooted in love you're really being guided to focus on healing connecting with nature connecting with the magic of who you are whatever that is i feel like spirits really here showing you um whatever it is that you need in the moment synchronicities affirmation comfort um and i feel like a lot of it is internal right it's like you're doing this on your own I also feel like there's people here in the physical reality that you can reach out to that are there to help you and support you. Um, even if it's just with your work or your income, like you're able to, people see you for who you really are. They see the truth of who you are. So it allows you to, it's like when you hear these thoughts, these negative thoughts or projections about yourself, you're able to tune into the wisdom, the, the self mastery aspect of who you are to receive the guidance from your higher self the new ideas, the new ideas that are rooted in truth um, that allow you to move forward with any sort of inspired ideas because we receive these inspiring type of ideas. However, if our thoughts are not rooted in the core, the authenticity of who we are, the love, the thoughts can become counterintuitive, so to speak. So I feel like you're really listening to the truth of everything so that you can get clear in your own mind to actually begin to implement whatever this inspired idea is in your life and really move forward with it. Like I feel victory. I feel success for you. I feel like you're also gaining a lot of inner wisdom and insight to your own self mastery process and recognizing the power of meditation, of quieting the mind, of really going within, connecting to spirit. It's an opportunity to really walk through the door of spirit, which is like really embracing the spirit of life, really embracing it all while you're alive, right? Like while you're here and feeling the support of it, not just thinking that heaven is after death. Heaven is right here next to us as long as well as hell, <laughs> right? So it's like this energy here of the five of wands, if you can view it from a positive perspective that something's needed to be seen and it's no reflection of you as long as you're choosing not to continue the dramas and continue participating and arguing or proving you have nothing to prove to anyone there's no reason to defend yourself so if you feel like you have to defend yourself this is where this energy right now is guiding you forward it's guiding you into yourself which in reality what happens is that the people around us kind of just like they can't get too close anymore okay so there's there's an energy of resolution of new life you really focusing on what allows you to feel alive 
in this card it's clearing out the old it's embracing change there is change happening here um, not to resist any changes but to really tune in and be grateful for the wisdom that's within you because it's always there for you and the more you tune into it the more insight you're going to receive the more energetic support you're going to receive and I feel like there is a lot of um, intuitive psychic type of gifts that are really going to support you through this time you're going to be shown and revealed to yourself like what it is that truly allows you to employ your magic right your unseen abilities of intuition of insight clairvoyance whatever it is telepathy it could be anything you're it's it's really about being in tune with your feelings i feel like this is something where your soul really wants you to know that no matter what anyone tells you you truly have to discover it for yourself through your own feelings your own experience and to be a spiritual person in today's world requires a strength and the strength, it doesn't mean you have to be physically strong or know all of the answers. All it requires is for you to completely trust. It's like even this person's wearing a blindfold, closing their eyes, going within and meditating and being shown visions in the most beautiful ways. You know, there's really truly no negativity when we're tuned into love. We can see why certain things played out and how we can be a part of transforming them for the better. Um, we can appreciate the effort that was put in in our past. You know, the effort of, I feeling here, the feminine energy within your own family line, like no matter what, the women in your life, everything that they attempted to do was to nurture the family line, was to, and I, I'm feeling like there may be some energies of anger here, um, resentment, bitterness, or like, you know, comments being cast upon women in your family is like, oh, they're just, they're angry or they're sad or they're crazy. And, and for you, it's like, you're seeing beyond that, like what created that feeling in them? Why were they angry? Why were they sad? You know, why were they upset? And once you see why it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, no wonder, no wonder. And now you know what to do. It's like praying for guidance, praying to, to your angels and guides. <clears throat> You know, maybe they didn't feel good enough. And so there was this feeling of always having to overcompensate or be something they were not. And we're all breaking out of these conditions, these, this conditioning of inauthenticity, basically not honoring our feelings, not honoring our own intuition. Your intuition's really being highlighted. And no matter how much people want to deny the truth of who they are when every time they do it just gets stuffed inside it gets stuffed inside and so as the new stuff's emerging if we haven't dealt with things and we've been stuffing it in it's like it all comes out all at once and it's like no matter what it it's about you staying focused on your path okay i feel like there's a energy here with the risk card it's like it may feel like a risk to you to kind of break free from the herd or to go your own way or to really stand true in your own truth and your own knowing because it may feel like you're going to be rejected or you're going to there's going to be like opinions cast upon you that you don't want to feel or be perceived as however you have to really ask yourself you know if you're truly like if you were an angel rooted in love would you ever tell someone you know, would you project opinions on them? Would you make them feel bad? Or would you say, hey, we can learn from this mistake. So you really are being called to embody your angelic self, so to speak. And that requires passion and fire and strength and standing true in your truth and saying sometimes what needs to be said and saying, you know what, if I have to walk away from this, if, if it, if it's, you know, even though it feels risky, if I have to walk away, I'm going to feel supported in that. You know, it's going to feel supported. It may feel unknown. It may feel, um, you know, I may even feel fear. However, the fears will be calmed if you're moving in the right direction. Okay. And you really have to ask yourself, is this a risk worth taking? Because ultimately you're the one living with the choice. You know, it's either staying in a situation or in conflict just to please other people or it's taking your wand and saying, no matter what, this is my wand and I'm moving forward, you know, and just feeling the support in that. It's like others will come around. This is the, um, the energy of self mastery, wisdom, patience. Uh, it's like you're being shown cycles, you're being shown patterns and what patterns do, you know, a certain pattern. Like if, if for example, someone was angry, we'll just use that as an example, like anger is a pattern in your family. Like 
once you realize what the root cause of the anger is, you can then dispel that energy completely or transform it into passion. You know, you can be like, you know what, I'm not going to allow myself to become an angry person. And the reason that that person was angry is because they were put down their entire life. Somebody was telling them every day, oh, you're an angry person or you're not good enough. And of course, that's going to create feelings of unworthiness and, you know, not feeling balanced, right? It could be coming from a marriage, you know, that you witnessed. And so once you recognize that, you say, okay, well, I'm never, I'm going to choose to see myself as good enough. And therefore, I'm going to attract people in my life that feel that way about me naturally, therefore not inciting any anger, anger type of feelings. It's like learning how to be self masterful of your own energy. And they always say, you know, when you learn the truth at first, you're angry <laughs> because it's like we've been, it's like we've been living under an illusion of programs that are family members or friends wanted us to believe that weren't really rooted in the truth. They don't want to change and grow. They'd rather keep the anger and the bickering going and they're right and we're wrong or whatever it is. Like I can feel this energy of you've got to rise above duality and not see it as right or wrong, but instead see it from an observer's point of view, a more intellectual place, really um, listening to your own visions as they come through and believing them. You know, really standing in truth with your own visions, honoring them, saying, okay, I received this vision for a reason. It's real. It's not like don't just discount it and stuff it inside because I'm feeling the iceberg submerged here. There's a lot that's going to be revealed to you whether you like it or not. And this is part of being an infinite soul. This is a part of honoring your own intuitive feelings because until we honor our own intuitive feelings, we're going to continue being led down a path that feels risky, that always leads to conflict or turmoil or us having to go in and meditate with these daggers hanging over us. You know, your higher self is right here speaking to you, allowing you to hear the truth, to hear the, the true ideas that move you forward towards that which is truly authentic for you. You know, it's like no matter where you are, you're with yourself. So it's like even standing here, this man in the five of wands, it's like he's standing here with his wand that's been divinely inspired within him, given to him by source, his soul, wherever it comes from, okay? Just like these people were given divine ideas. And for whatever reason, these people have a problem that his is a little bit different or he's not agreeing with how to implement it like these people. And what are they doing? They're attacking him. What is he left to do? He has to defend himself. He has to say, hey, hey either back up or I'm, I'm going to start swinging. <laughs> and that's like, we don't want to be in these situations necessarily. So if you're feeling this energetically, be grateful for it. Because if we don't see this stuff, if we don't acknowledge how we're feeling internally in our thoughts, this is what happens in the physical reality. It then manifests into a physical form. So being shown what we need to see before it actually happens is a blessing in disguise. And right now you're being guided to clear out any sort of old energies that have to do with fire and passion and anger. I feel like they're rooted in your in the feminine energy in your family and being a part of the healing of that, however it comes through for you. Like see what you're being shown as a blessing because it's allowing you to evolve and expand and really embrace love and feel the true support of love and feel the true support of the life force energy. You know, this is, this is a temporary energy. It does not last very long. This is the seven of wands. I've been saying five of wands and it's the seven of wands. Stand your ground. It's very interesting. <laughs> I don't know why I do that sometimes. However, you know, it's, it's the seven of wands. We stand our ground because we're sick of the conflict, right? We're sick of the conflict. We're sick of the arguing of trying to prove ourselves. You have nothing to prove. Just like they have nothing to prove. Why are they trying to prove to you that you've got to do it their way? It's like, I just see all these people around you like, no, this it's like just arguing and just continuing on. And I just see you kind of like standing there like, fine, I'm just putting my armor on and I'm going to go meditate. Like, I don't care. You want to hold your swords over me, your wands over me. I got my higher self here trying to talk to me. It's like, here I am. I'm really going to do it. <laughs> if you don't back off, I'm going to start speaking my truth. And you're not going to like it very much. That's what I feel. Okay, so it's like, ask and pray, you know, pray to the universe, pray to your soul, really ask for guidance, ask for strength, ask for bravery and courage. Don't be afraid to, you know, appear mean because you're not mean at all. 
what's mean is that they won't let you be. You got to stand your ground. That's, you know, making someone stand their ground and have to prove themselves or defend themselves is mean for what, you know, it's like, just have a talk with me. And if you don't like what I'm doing, move along, <laughs> focus on your own life. I see the three of pentacles here. I just feel there is uh, physical support for you around you with your finances, your income, co-creating with others, like creating and forming friendships and relationships that allow you to stay focused on your finances, that create that feeling of stability. So at least that for you, it feels really good so that you can continue to heal and grow and become more self-masterful. And I feel like this energy of um, healing around the feminine energy with you. So as you as you truly face whatever it is that's within you you're going to feel the healing energy and supportive energy of the feminine around you you're going to be able to receive the the wisdom thoughts the insight the good ideas and that is what is going to allow you to break free or move forward or transform you know i'm i'm hearing the i'm i'm like hearing break free and really what you want to feel is just flow. You want the universe to kind of pick you up in this flow and just, you know, it's like when you're focused in the truth, then the universe can handle whatever's going on in the truth. You don't necessarily have to be a part of it as much as you just need to stand true in your strength, stand strong in who you are and focus on co-creating, focus on what is providing for you right now in the physical reality um, it's like no matter what's going on in my world, I'm choosing to tune in and work and stay focused in a way that is supporting myself and my future, right? My legacy, my children, um, no matter what. And that's how we all are. No matter what's happening, we still need to take care of our physical reality. So I just, I feel like you need to know and be reassured that you have help here and there are new ideas for you and there are people supporting you and your physical well-being. Um, there's a lot happening in the unseen realities too that are supporting you and you just need to have the courage to ask for what you truly need like ask for what you truly need there's no reason to pretend to be perfect or happy or any of that stuff because that's not going to help you you know what's going to help you is by being honest and really um, truthful with yourself and choosing to be self masterful and to learn whatever that means and that means you've got to clear out the old you've got to be willing to look at the beauty of the old the gratitude like I'm seeing the blindfold here and it's like the physical reality may not look so pretty. You know, you may look around and see only conflict and you've got to stand your ground and you've got to hold your whatever. But here in this vision, clearing out the old, it's like the, it's like closing your eyes and seeing the beauty, seeing the love, seeing the pain, you know, seeing the pain. Cause that's really where any sort of conflict is deriving from it's deriving from pain or trauma or wounds pain 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 a lot of pain and so by choosing love you're becoming a part of the healing of that consciousness in your family and yourself you're doing a lot of good and the universe supports you when you choose to become a healing person instead of a hurting person the universe just helps you more than you could ever know door to spirit you know and again in number 532 we have change co-creation balance and harmony cooperation with the universe spirit is what supports us life force energy is what supports us and when we have people in our life that support us we are grateful because those people are rare you know it's not every day that you have someone in your life you know if you have someone in your life who supports you and sees you for who you are you're a very lucky person because a lot of people have family members who know them or grew up with them, but they don't really see each other. And when they don't see each other, this is what happens. You know, they don't see you. If they don't see you and see what you've been investing your time into, what's important to you, what you care about, they're not going to understand why you're receiving a different vision or why you're receiving what you are because they're not focused in clearing out the old. They're not focused in becoming self-masterful. They're just focused on making themselves right and you wrong. That's what it feels like. So when you feel those negative thoughts pouring over you or projections, do your best to meditate, to go within, even if you feel like you have to like put armor around yourself and just say, do not disturb. You know, like I am, I am meditating. Sometimes you have to be completely quiet and do your best to just not get involved because even if you're speaking your truth if you're speaking your truth to deaf ears they're never going to hear you anyways right it's like you put it all you put it all out there you give it your best and if your best isn't good enough 
Is the risk worth it? Yes, because it's never going to be good enough. And if you can, if you can recognize that, you know, for whatever reason, you know, this, this energy of, am I good enough for you? Of course you are. Of course you are. You are more than good enough for the right people. You're never going to be good enough for the wrong people. And that is a really, really harsh thing to hear. It's a, it's a truth though, that is why pain occurs. And so if somebody says you're not good enough for me and it hurts our feelings, which it does, right? Especially if it's someone we love, you're not good enough for me. Even if they don't say it in those words, they project it through their attitudes, their behaviors, their actions, whatever it is you know, this is, that's not an energy of union. That's not an energy of soul connection. So you are being guided towards soul connection, towards union, towards balance, towards harmony, towards really being loved for who you are, where you feel good enough without being, you don't need to be told. It's just shown through the action. It's shown through the, the nurturing affection of another. It's shown through when someone sees you, they give you a hug. Hi, how are you? How's it going? What's happening in your world? You know, you already, you don't have to question your worthiness. And so if you're in an energy where you're constantly questioning your worthiness and it creates anger and pain and we stay in that situation, then, you know, we get what we get. So I feel like you're being guided to move forward and whatever, whatever life is guiding you to do, it's your choice. You know, to me, it feels like here, just take the neutral path, the middle path, the path that feels most clear and open for you, the path that's going to support you. This is a 40. It's also, to me, feels like your foundation, infinite possibilities, there's infinite potential. You're never stuck. Never allow anyone to make you feel like you're stuck somewhere, that you have to do things a certain way or you're going to, you know, it's going to end in catastrophe because that's not true. Many of us do many different things, you know. What I do here may not suit someone else. However, it doesn't, you know, as long as we're doing what's right for us, we feel better automatically. You know, my family members may not agree with what I do here, but I do and I feel good and it supports me and it puts me in a great mood every day, which I feel it's better to be around me in a good mood <laughs> than a bad mood. And you know what puts me in a bad mood? This, <laughs> this is what puts me in a bad mood, right? It's like, if, if, if we're in this together, why are y'all fighting me? You know, why am I being singled out here? This man's being singled out here. Like your ideas aren't good enough for us. They're not, they're wrong and we're right. And it's like, they get fixated on just being right. Instead of just hearing about what your ideas about, you know, there are certain family members in my life. If they just sat down and listened to me do this, they, they might have a completely different perspective. But instead of doing that, they just automatically see tarot and they're like, Oh, bad, 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 bad back away, back away, back away. They don't care what I'm talking about. They don't understand that I'm rooted in love, that I'm here to actually, you know, deliver messages of healing. And this is just one form that I do it in. You know, I'm a very visual person. I like cards and, and artistry and other people's consciousness. And this is all from people who have gone through similar situations and healed and overcame them. And so it's like, this is a part of the journey and it's not the most fun energy but that's why we're like, is this a risk, you know, to, to move forward? Is it worth the risk? Well, we only know when it's worth the risk until we're actually in that position. <laughs> and then it is because it's riskier to stay in a situation where you feel oppressed, where you don't feel good enough. You feel like you're already going to die miserable. You may as well give yourself a chance to grow and become all that you're meant to be. And you have the guidance here of your own divine soul. And it's never going to lead you astray. It may ask you to stand in your truth and face difficult situations. However, with your soul guidance there, it's easy. It is so much easier than you could ever imagine. You know, facing things in your truth, it empowers you. And you'll realize you don't even have to say as much or do as much. Like things just start playing out around you and you're like, okay. <laughs> you know, everyone's like, Ooh, it's just, I don't know. There's this energy here of really learning about your intuitive guidance, your emotional guidance that you're really going to be grateful you did. Okay. And I see... I see a beautiful relationship here. Wedding rings, healing, harmony, balance. Okay. And this very deep connection to your own soul that can never, ever be severed or taken away from you. Like you're, ha you're going to have this beautiful, expanded connection, deeper connection with your own soul guidance that's just going to feel so good that you will never feel like you're taking a risk ever again. Okay. With heal thyself and new life you are definitely on the path for healing. So really focus on that energy of just 
nurturing what your body needs, what your mind needs, what your emotions need. If you need to spend a day at home, you know, crying, for example, do it, you know, snuggle up in a blanket, get some ice cream. If you feel like eating, you know, if watching a movie makes you too sad, don't just meditate, like what, do something, do your crafts, do, do nothing. You know, it's like the, go out into nature and sit by the river, whatever it is. Like, I feel like there's this acknowledgement that you need to have for yourself that it's okay for you to take time to heal especially after whatever you've been through and clearing out the old it's only going to strengthen you it's going to empower you it's going to help you focus where you need to focus because right now these other people want you to focus on them and they're not supporting your well-being whoever these people are around you are not supporting your well-being and so you're never going to feel the new life springing forth if you keep feeding this energy. You've got to stand your ground and really stand up for what you believe in. And once you do that, the universe just swoops in and it says, yes, we're in alignment with you. You're going to feel empowered. If you can't stand up for what you believe in and what's right for you, there's no way the universe can help you. The angels can't help you if you don't ask. And that's, you know, what takes the most courage is really asking for help. Even with this reach out card, it's asking for help. Reach out. There's someone there that wants to help you reach out to someone, you know, if you feel guided to, it's like, there's always someone there for you. You're someone who's always, when people reach out to you, you were there for them. So remember that what goes around comes around. Okay. The universe sees everything we do. It's a two way mirror and no one, no one, no one can hide from the universe. Not one person, not one animal, not one tree, <laughs> nothing can hide from the universe. Truly what goes around comes around. And that's the Agor here, self-mastery. You know, even even though he's an Agor in a in an unknown location, he's still very much aware of what's happening in humanity's consciousness because he meditates, he tunes in. Our consciousness is connected unconsciously, always, forever. So whatever is being revealed to you right now, be grateful for. It's only meant to help you, strengthen you, empower you, help you become more self-aware or self-guided so that you are truly feeling yourself and you feel the boundaries strengthen around you. You feel like you can do anything. Okay. Be resourceful, tune into your spirit, your guides, heal yourself. And you're going to feel this new life just springing out of you like an infinite well, just springing, just pouring out of you, just new life. And I love it here too, because it's like, there's this energy of being reborn and yet taking your time and going slow and stretching and just being like, oh, it's like this feeling of after a really good night's sleep and you wake up in the morning and everything's well. You may have not been feeling well when you woke up in the morning. You're going to start feeling better. The more you honor your own feelings, the more you stand up for yourself, the better you're going to feel mentally, emotionally, physically, everything. You're just going to start feeling better. The better you feel, the, the better ideas come in that are coming from your soul because you're standing up for yourself. It's just time to clear out the old and do what you need to do. Okay. So group number one, that was, uh, that was intense. <laughs> I truly hope this message resonated with you and empowered you and just provided insight and guidance moving forward and affirmed what you know to be true. Thank you truly all for being you. And thank you for subscribing, liking and commenting and sharing the videos. That really helps me a lot. Please do connect with me over on my social media. I really do enjoy connecting with all of you over there. Those links are in the description and I just thank you all for being you. And I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. Please do continue taking very good care of yourself, heal yourself, whatever ways that feel good for you. Focus on this new life that you're creating for yourself and stay true. And I'll see you again very soon for the next pick a card. All my infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, group number two. How are all of you amazing, beautiful heart and souls? I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. So let's see what love has in store for you. Oh my goodness, the three of swords. <laughs> oh my God. Love to the rescue, huh? We have temperance, six of pentacles. <clears throat> The owl, deception, wisdom, okay. Pendulum, decision. You're really being guided right now to get out of your head and into your body, into your heart. Really open your heart. I know your heart feels wounded right now. I feel like there's some heartbreak here. There's some pain. 
Um, you're really being supported with um, tempering your emotions. You're being shown thoughts and programs that are very deceptive and manipulative, and they literally do like feel like they could like they're stabbing our hearts. Okay. And it's not just a thought, right? It's like a projection, like a straight up projection from someone else who really has this energy of like wanting to hurt you. Okay. I feel like you're being given this opportunity to really see things for what they are, see the truth. There's an energy here with the pendulum where you know, it's physical. It's based on the energetics of what's going on in your environment right now and what's in alignment with your own soul. So your soul vibrates at a very pure frequency, right? It's like it's love. There's no distortion. However, our bodies, our egos, our programs, our thoughts, all of this stuff, our DNA, you know, because of our environment not being in perfect symmetrical alignment with the life force, it, it takes effort at times to when it begins to take effort to maintain our alignment or our integrity, it's because we're surrounded by energies that are not supportive to the growth of the life force energy or your soul. Okay. And it's not, it doesn't necessarily mean it's your fault or it has anything to do with you. However, if we stay in that situation, it does, right? If we pretend like it doesn't exist, then it does have something to do with us. We're feeding it in some way. And that's what creates actual heartbreak and pain. I know because I've been through it. <laughs> and, you know, it's like with the pendulum here. It's if you, if you use a pendulum just to answer yes or no questions or affirm yes or no questions for yourself. I always do it over my hand when it's personal for me. And you can start simple with very easy things. But it's like your thoughts, your thoughts. You know, when I'm rooted in love, I know that, the, that if I, I don't need to use a pendulum anymore, but I used to. And it was when I was practicing my own, my own frequency, like getting to know my own frequency. Um, the same thing when I started reading tarot cards, it wasn't like I was reading the cards to tell me the future, like what's in store for me. It's like, I needed to know what was going on because my feelings and my thoughts, like it was like my thoughts weren't being affirmed from the people in my life that I was feeling. I was feeling one way and they were saying thing another thing. And that's what creates this heartbreak is we're believing thoughts that aren't true over our own intuitive body thoughts. Okay. So it's like if your body's telling you there's deception going on here and our and we're hearing, oh no, everything's fine. That actually creates heartbreak. If we stay in that situation and continue to believe the lies, it creates heartbreak and then we start believing the thoughts and we start discounting our own feelings and we just like, oh, that's, you know, but that's not true. Even though I feel weird, why do I feel weird? I feel like temperance is here with you right now to help you really practice like <laughs> love and compassion for yourself, patience with yourself, give yourself time to get to feel your body again and get to understand the owl wisdom here of being able to see beyond the surface, see between the lines and instead of listening to thoughts or people's projections, like really feeling the truth in your body for yourself. You know, does your heart open to this person? You know, instead of just looking, listening to their thoughts, really feel them. Where are their thoughts rooted? Are their thoughts driven by fear or by love, by growth, by expansion? Or are they driven by fear and limitation and lack and Bullying even is what I'm hearing. Don't allow anyone to bully you. That's why the owl is showing up. Okay. I feel like what's in store for you is equality, balance, especially in your physical reality. I feel like there's also a relationship here where it's equal, give and receive, you know, energetically, physically, emotionally, mentally. You're really learning how to bring balance back into your own reality here. We have Treasure Island, number nine. Realizing that you're the treasure, okay? Your heart, angel of love. Look at this. You have so much love surrounding you to help you heal your heartbreak. So that there's no more swords in the heart. Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made and remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love, okay? So patient, slow and steady. You're moving towards balance, equality, fairness, love, compassion, affection, true intimacy. 
true companionship, true partnership, true friendship, true romance, true everything, true, true, true. <laughs> Meditate, Buddha. Okay, meditation is really healing for yourself and allows you to really feel your own thoughts without thinking. It's like, it's. I feel like you're really being um, guided to listen to your body. Really listen to your body. And if a thought enters your mind that your body doesn't agree with, then you, you know for sure, okay, that thought is not rooted within me or my higher self. So instead of avoiding it, just acknowledge it. Okay, I hear you thought. You don't have to say it out loud, but just acknowledge it. I hear you. That's definitely not rooted in me. And then at that point, you've got to figure out or feel into how you want to resolve that, whether you're going to work with it, transform it, ignore it. Okay, but meditation is what's going to give you the, the knowing of what to do. Okay, heart chakra. Continue focusing on your heart. Your heart's opening up. So as you do that, look at this vulnerability. Oh my goodness. Infinite blessings. Oh my goodness. Heart healing. This is so beautiful. It really truly is gorgeous. You know, these are the bleeding hearts and I feel like we're all bleeding hearts. You know, we're the lovers. Our hearts are bleeding here. We're like, what's going on in the world? We're only one person, you know, why is everyone being so crazy? I feel that energy. I'm with you on that. It's like, I can feel it and it's frustrating. See the signs, number 38. I'm just doing what I have to do right now and the chaser. Codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues, okay? So this is very collective right now. I feel like people are just using that excuse. I'm just doing what I have to do. I'm just doing what I have to do right now. Who has time to be vulnerable and be honest, right? <laughs> so just know that that attitude does not get you infinite blessings. What gets you infinite blessings and heart healing is focusing on love and opening your heart because once you do you're not entertaining these negative thoughts these negative thoughts cannot pierce through an open heart this is like happening because our heart was closed and we weren't allowing ourselves to be real with ourselves for whatever reason whether we were conscious of it or not and we you know it's like no matter how much you give to someone, if their heart is closed and if they want to continue um, feeding the negative energies or the negative thoughts or the thoughts that are limiting and lack, what can you do? All you can do is open your heart, focus on yourself, feed the thoughts that are positive, life affirming and continue moving forward. You're really being guided to meditate, to really tune into your vulnerability, how fragile you are as a human. You may be an infinite being, infinitely blessed, but you're still fragile. Your heart's fragile. It's so fragile that our thoughts can actually give us a heart attack, our own thoughts. And it's not necessarily the thoughts as it is the energy that's behind the thoughts, the energy that's fueling the thoughts. That's what really causes the, you know, it releases certain chemicals and mixtures within our body, the alchemy, you know, when we're in anger, when we're stressed, when we're sad, when we're in disbelief and we choose not to grow or understand the deeper meaning the alchemy of our body completely changes. You know, you, you see people getting older and more tired or developing diseases or cancers. It's because their immune system has broken down because they haven't allowed themselves to just be vulnerable, you know, to share their feelings with the people they love, to just say, I'm sorry, you know, to forgive. Instead, they hold on to resentment and they've got to be right and they've got to lie in order to look good to other people. And you're just done with that. You're out of that. Okay, I see that <clears throat> whatever happened, there's no more excuse for saying, I'm just doing what I have to do right now. Um, there is an energy here of the chaser. It's like you need to really allow yourself to come into new, to neutrality. You know, not being a, seeing yourself as a runner or a chaser or having to do something just because that's what you have to do right now. Like you, you're really being guided to see yourself as the treasure, the, the treasure that you are. The treasure island is your heart. The treasure island is you. You are the treasure. You are the soul expression. Only soul can express through you. It cannot express through you if, you know, you're not here. And I feel like this is very clear, like for you to stay focused, slow and steady and see how infinitely blessed you are. Allow yourself to get out of the head anytime it feels heavy and be with yourself. You know, it's like being in this meadow all alone with all these wildflowers. You know, you're not alone, right? You know that you're surrounded by the earth. You know that the flowers are growing, they're beautiful. You could take your camera, you could make it a meditation, you could focus on the beauty. You could put yourself, like I'm seeing like 
a person taking pictures, like looking for, like like developing their own treasure hunt, so to speak. You're like, okay, today I'm gonna go out and try to photograph as many butterflies. And that, that activity keeps you focused in such a positive way. Whereas if you're like, I'm just gonna walk out here in this field and scream and be upset that all these thoughts are haunting me, you know, the wise part of you, the temperance part of you would say, well, this is happening. Let's take our camera and see how many butterflies we can find. And so before you know it, after a few hours, you've taken beautiful pictures, you've been inspired, you received some insight, you were able to enjoy the present moment because your thoughts weren't taking over. It's as simple as just allowing yourself to engage in an activity that kind of distracts you in a healthy way, right? It doesn't distract you, it aligns you. These thoughts are a distraction in my opinion, <laughs> right? Maybe it's like, I, I'm, I'm trying to live my life. I don't have time to get stabbed in the heart today, okay? I cannot be a loving person and share my own infinite blessings with all of you if I'm getting stabbed in the heart every day, okay? <laughs> Just like letting go of this energy of chasing or running after what is meant to be for you because you don't need to. What's meant to be for you, you never have to chase after. You never have to run after it. You, it doesn't have to run after you. It's not gonna chase after you. It's just gonna be with, it's already with you every step of the way and it continues to evolve and unfold the more you allow it to do so. So I just feel like, you know, you are an angel of love and your own personal angel of love is surrounding you right now. It's like your spirit guide or your teacher and love is vulnerable. It's very fragile. And yet it is the strongest force on earth. It is the force on earth. It is the life. It is the force. It is the way it is everything without love. We have nothing. And that's the truth. So see the signs they're everywhere they're literally everywhere for you right now like we have the butterflies on here the it's like a yellow gold orange and then the purple blue i see the white dove here the white lion it's just really beautiful the black wolf i feel like you're going to see signs and synchronicities by choosing to really open your heart and embrace your vulnerability you're going to see new signs and synchronicities that you've never seen before that are just so magical you're like okay i'm on the right path there is no mistaking that because there's a difference between seeing 1111 on the clock and seeing a white lion. You know what I mean? Like there is such a big difference and I feel like you're going to understand that. You're going to understand and appreciate the immense difference between the organic natural life force energy and the man-made thought process type of synchronicity that wants you to stay stuck in a limiting system and mainstream media and all this stuff that's happening in the world. I can feel everyone's agitation right now. The messages are coming through like very tough love style, but it's like we're because we're vulnerable right now. And so we need to recognize our vulnerabilities. Otherwise, we will fall. And that's not what we want. Love is here to always lift us up, to rise us to the occasion. And it, we're never alone. We're never alone. It's when we feel most alone that we realize we're never alone. And that's when our heart really gets to open and heal. Heart healing's happening right, for you right now. A lot of changes. And I feel like your body's really going to begin responding in such a positive way. You're just going to feel like you're going to feel like if you're for example, if you were doing something today and it's something you were always doing in the past, maybe it wasn't the best thing. Like you're just not going to be able to stand doing it anymore. Like if your body disagrees with it, you're going to be like, that's that I'm honoring my body. It's saying no. And there's no point in continuing to put my body into these situations where it just feels like it doesn't want to be because every time it's around that energy, it's going to, it's going to close up. It's going to seize up and that's not helping you heal. So in that recognition, you won't allow yourself to go in this. It, it'll just be effortless. You just be like, no. And then it just kind of moves along and you find yourself where you're supposed to be. You find yourself receiving the healing and the wisdom and the, the angel of love just with you all the time. I feel like meditation's really going to help you feel and affirm your own truth, your own knowing. And also, you know, just realize that this is a slow and steady process. Life is supposed to be we're supposed to be excited that we have all the time in the world. We're supposed to be excited that we get to take our time and go slow. Who wants to go fast, running, 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 trying to get somewhere. And then when we get there, we're like, this, this isn't really that great. Now I have all these additional responsibilities and frustrations. And instead of being grateful for what we have, we end up just complaining or feeling left out or whatever it is. Like, I just feel this energy of I'm just doing what I have to do right now. And that is not acceptable. Like that's not what you came here to do. You didn't come here to just do what you got to do, <laughs> right? 
and nobody did. And so it's like you're being shown a better way. You're being shown equality, mutual love and harmony. I feel like too here for your physical reality, there is um, relationships, finances, and um, even justice. You know, it's like whatever you've given so much of in the past, it's all being returned to you. And the, all you need to re remember about that is just staying rooted in your heart and allow yourself to receive it. There's nothing you need to go out and chase and do. It's slow and steady. It's all going to be presented to you moment by moment by moment. Okay. Have compassion for yourself, deep love and compassion for yourself. I feel like there is an angel of love surrounding you, you know, possibly a new partner who's very equal to you that, that really supports you in your physical world. Um, even your emotional world and, and just someone who is very much in the understanding of it's like this is a body connection this is a body connection there's no words like when you meet this person or when you feel this energy in the physical reality it's like you want to hold their hand you want to give them a hug like your 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 heart and it's not like it's not like a it's just a very mutual energy where you can just be yourself you can be yourself and I feel that for you, okay? There's no more heartbreak. What's in store for you is pure heart, love, healing, being able to be yourself, vulnerable, gentle, and yet very strong at the same time. You're really enjoying what you do. You're not doing what you just have to do. You're actually getting to do what you want to do. <laughs> Your infinite blessings are all coming true. And this appears to be fall time, winter time almost. Not quite winter. This is the start of fall, so... What's in store for you? I feel this is really going to begin unfolding here within the next month or two. Like you're really going to start feeling the energy really pouring through. So stay true. Allow yourself to feel grateful for the wisdom. The wisdom. And look, at this is a number 13. Today's Friday the 13th that I'm filming this on. And I just see a lot of energy here with the three, the, the new beginnings, um, your foundation, it's like you're really seeing through the deception and you're allowing yourself to continue growing and embracing and staying soft, right? Stay soft, firm, but soft. Stay loving. <laughs> Stay loving no matter what you got to do. You're just doing what you got to do. <laughs> you guys are so wonderful. So see the signs, meditate, trust yourself. Even um, use a pendulum if you feel guided to. There's no, no worries about that. It's all you. And know that as your heart chakra opens, you know, no matter what, it's just revealing whatever needs to be seen for you to completely heal and move forward. And I love it so much. You are the treasure. And I feel like there's a, there's an energy of, um, you know, unknown treasures headed your way. What's in store. I, I see a lot of treasure. You might be a treasure hunter, which is really fun. And if you're not, maybe that's, I don't know. There's something here about treasure hunting or searching for the treasure. And this time you're going to find it and it's going to be fun. Like you're not really out looking for it, but you're just, it's like you're, I feel this energy of you like seeing yourself as the treasure and a treasure hunter. Like life is a, life is a treasure and we're, we like to search for treasure. <laughs> it should be fun. Not like, you know, impossible to do. Okay. I feel like someone's going to see you as the treasure and you're going to see someone as a treasure. And it's like, you're going to be so grateful that you chose to heal your heart and choose vulnerability and get to know yourself and really embrace this angel of love energy and the wisdom. And it's like the deception and all of that's not going to bring you down. You're not going to develop any sort of negative attitudes or feel anything other than love and healing and beauty. Okay. All the signs, beautiful, everything beautiful, you know, no more chasing after anything nothing chasing after you <laughs> just what is meant to be for you you're just meeting up with it it's like oh my gosh there it is it's like going out with the intention to photograph butterflies and you're just like taking pictures and then you're sitting there maybe you're like I haven't seen any butterflies I'll just sit here for a minute and this big beautiful butterfly just floats up right in front of you and lands on the flower perfectly and you get like the money shot you know <laughs> it's like oh my goodness so anyways I just see a lot of blessings pouring around you. So really feel that, receive that, feel gratitude for that. And I know I'm grateful for you all. Thank you so much for being you. Thank you for tuning in. I truly hope this message affirmed what you feel and just provided some guidance moving forward. And thank you all so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing the videos. I really appreciate you all for that. It helps me so much. And please do connect with me on my social media. Those links are in the description. And... 
continue being yourself, taking very good care of yourself. And I thank you for being such a strong, beautiful, loving being. And I look forward to the next message that comes through for all of you. And until then, sending you all my infinite love as always. Peace. Hello, group number three. How are all of you? Amazing, beautiful heart and souls. So let's see what love has in store for all of you. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So we have Knight of Cups, beautiful. Nine of Wands and the Hanged Man. We have the Cow, Nourishment, Abundance, Asking, Receiving, number 20. Arrow, Focus, To Be Fair, number 38. Patience, number 16. Notice the signs from the angels. Right, though. Rest and reconsider, which is the Nine of Wands. You've got the Nine of Wands twice here. And the Hanged Man. So there's an energy of persistence, of persevering, and also feeling like things aren't moving necessarily, especially with patience here. Lotus flower unfoldment, leap of faith, number 22, leap of faith. Nurture, number 29, embrace the feminine, number 10. I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now. Please know this, mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, dilute, delude, gaslighting. Okay, so, my goodness. What does love have in store for you? <laughs> a lot of beauty. A lot of beauty. A lot of unfoldment. Um, a lot of balance. Tons of balance. Tons of fairness. Tons of magical energy that you've never experienced before. If you can truly, truly, truly stay focused, stay focused moving forward, allow yourself to rest when you need to, because you are being guided to move forward in absolute love with an open heart, feeling your charismatic self, feeling your romantic self, feeling in your dreamy spirit. I feel like there's a lot of nourishment that is just wanting to surround you like it's like it it's like your soul your heart is opening you're really feeling this energy of resistance I want to say there's an energy of resistance however you're not allowing it to stop you and so that's what requires the focus and to really stand in your integrity right like to see the situation for what it is I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now and mask. I, I feel like this is an energy surrounding you where you've been dealing with a lot of people who are not being who they say they are, right? It's like very obvious that they're, some, they're wearing some mask or they're not being honest about their mistakes or whatever it is. So it's like, I, I feel like excuses surrounding you, not you necessarily. I feel like you're the one that sees through it. And maybe it's because in your past you recognized you had to wear a mask for certain people or certain relationships or situations where if you didn't, they would reject you and it was for your well-being in some way. So I feel like there's an energy here of understanding the difference between trying to take responsibility for yourself and actually taking responsibility, which requires strength. It requires perseverance. It requires focus and vision and fortitude and really feeling empowered within yourself. Like you need to have a why for why you're moving forward. You need to know why you're focused. You need to know why you have to be fair in a situation where you feel like things may not be fair or balanced. You are the fairness. You are the balance. And what's, what is happening for you is complete abundance. Like when you ask, you receive it. That's what you're moving into. You're moving into my cup is empty and someone's just there filling it. Okay. Like you are, you are someone who is very persistent and very dedicated to the path of unfolding your spiritual journey of love. You're really being encouraged here to write, 
write in a journal, write your story, maybe write a book. Maybe you're um, being guided to be the next big author, <laughs> number one best-selling author out there. You have a very fair perspective. You've spent a lot of time seeing things from other points of view, other people's perspectives, and you've really honored fairness, equality, justice, um, not judging someone based off, you know, their mask. You see beyond the mask. You see the person, the soul inside. You're really being guided to take a leap of faith towards really honoring your soul guidance, your soul journey, your unfoldment. No, you know, it's like a constant unfoldment of your journey and yours is like a lotus flower. You know, it's unfolding in the most beautiful ways where the petals just become more full and healthy, like the flower of life. It's like you're, you're allowing yourself to really open up to the, your own specific soul journey. The angels are sending you a lot of signs and synchronicities right now, a lot to give you reassurance. It's what allows you to keep going sometimes when you feel like giving up. However, it's like when you feel that you're allowing yourself to rest, like seeing it as, okay, I got to rest. I just, I'm a person. I need some downtime. I need some time to relax. And I feel like they're, it's like when you're relaxing, when you're seeing things, you notice you're never alone. Like there's some sort of nourishment that comes in that affirms that you're doing the right thing, that you're doing the right thing for yourself, for the situation. It's allowing you to embrace patience and not be so controlled by the clock or external things or having to have it all unfold right now. Like you, I feel like there's an energy where you're learning how to really appreciate divine timing and just allowing things to be revealed to you every day, seeing life as a constant unfoldment. I feel like there's an energy here as you embrace the feminine, you're being encouraged to embrace the feminine creative energy, the sexual energy of the feminine, the romantic energy of the masculine, like really feeling the, the romance, the lover's energy, the life force energy, because the creation energy is a sexual energy, right? It's what creates new people, new things, in life, the birds and the bees. You know, there is this energy of your creativity, like really to feel your creativity in that dreamlike state means that you're in alignment with your masculine feminine energies. You may have spent a lot of time more in your masculine energy, um, you know, physical, like this, this person's climbing a mountain, so they need to take a break. And it's, it's here in this moment where they're resting, where they're resting and reconsidering that they can receive the insight from the feminine energy, the unseen, the intuitive, the nurturing, the loving. This is the nurturing energy. Instead of pushing yourself to the point of hurting, like this guy's hurting. He's like wearing a sling and a, you know, a head bandage. Like he's like, but I got my wand. I may be, you know, wounded warrior here. But this, this, this one's not a wounded warrior. Same card, except this one's embracing the feminine energy and allowing themselves to be nurtured, right? To take a moment to rest and rejuvenate and, you know, regain their strength, even in the hanged man here, you know, there's a woman giving him water. It's like, no matter what you are being taken care of. And that is affirming to you that you're on the right path, no matter how challenging it feels, nurture, 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 nurture. You are someone who you're naturally nurturing presence, especially with the Knight of cups. You're just a naturally nurturing person. You're someone who's truly feels comfortable and alive when you're able to express your heart. You know, it's not about wearing it on your sleeve for the whole world to just take advantage of. Like this is about you in alignment with your heart's path, offering your cup to whom you feel guided to, to whom you want to talk to, to whom makes you feel, you know, equal in, in terms of receiving the love back. You know, I feel like this has really allowed you to look at this, even, even on this card, leap of faith. It's like, she's walking a tightrope, but look how effortless it is. I was going to, I was feeling like it's like walking a tightrope or that thin line, you know, between like love and hate or, you know, fear and love. It's like this energy where you've really had to show yourself in the physical reality, you know, the energy of fairness, the energy of balance and justice. And I feel like it's like there's so much wisdom that you've gained through this experience that can only be gained through actually standing in your truth and staying persistent and honoring what your soul and heart is guiding you to do. And as you honor that feeling, those, those energetic supports of focus, like staying focused on the prize, staying focused forward, keeping your eyes forward, you know, not allowing yourself to, um, cover up who you are. You know, I feel like there's an energy here of not showing your true feelings that you've been experiencing. And it's simply because 
the opportunity to present your true feelings has not really been there. It's been more of a time for you to reflect and see things from differing perspectives. Um, and so that you can really go out in the world and be your true self and things like gaslighting and, and negative projections will not bother you. They will not make you feel like you need to retreat. Like you've got your armor on your invisible armor. You've got everything you need. And the cow is all about abundance. It's asking, it's receiving, it's knowing that you're going to be nourished no matter where you are. And it's, it happens because it's, it's in joy and gratitude. Like the cow, the cow provides milk right for the people and yet it gets to enjoy the green grass that it's grazing upon it enjoys safe land to be a happy cow and if there's extra milk that it's happy to share with you you know it's like as long as it's a mutually loving relationship the cow is willing to be your friend and partner however it's it doesn't like it when someone just comes and steals from it you know that's not an equal energy and the cow is very sacred animal in a lot of cultures you know there's so much abundance that's represented and yet it needs to be treated with respect and love just as we would want to be treated, you know, in respect and love. There is this energy of that you've learned a lesson of fairness and wisdom. You know, there's so much wisdom that you've learned that's really going to serve you moving forward. And I love this here too, where it's like she's wearing a mask <laughs> in this picture. And the mask here, it's like there's happy, sad face. We all wear a mask, so to speak. However, it should never be for deceiving anyone right it should only be for fun or for entertaining or for you know like you go to a costume party and everyone's dressed up and gets to pretend to be whomever and it's all in fun it's not to hurt someone or deceive someone or to hide things about ourselves that we're feeling self-conscious about because even if we're wearing a mask just to hide like say we're sad and we're wearing a happy face and someone says hey why are you sad and you say Oh, I'm not sad. You're crazy. I'm happy. You know, that in itself is very damaging, right? To our, our consciousness, to the other person, like what, and to ourselves, like, why would we do that? That happens a lot when people are living in this idea of perfectionism and they're afraid to be, you know, they think being sad is a, like a weakness or something that just came through. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just, you know, for whatever example, it's like when I see trying to take responsibility, I, I feel like there's a, an excuse being made as to why that person isn't taking responsibility. What is it that they feel responsible for taking action on right now? And if they feel responsible for taking action on it, why are, why are they trying and not just doing it? You know, and that, that is a result of wearing a mask. You know, it's like if you're surrounded by a bunch of people that expect you to be happy and they're like, well, you need to take responsibility for showing up to work every day on time. And the reason you're sad is because the, the person you live with keeps sabotaging your car every morning, <laughs> for example. And so every time you get in your car to go to work, you can't start it. And then you're late. It's like one of those situations where you recognize like the, like the, what is creating you to be out of alignment and seeing the fairness of the situation and allowing yourself to take full responsibility for whatever situation you're in that you have to wear a mask for and saying, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not going to wear a mask. And if this situation doesn't accept me as my authentic self, then it's time for me to move forward. And I feel like that's, you know, for you, you've been shown different perspectives, different ways of living that are for you, where you belong. It's like, there's an energy of you are a lover. You have, you are someone who is very, very fun to be around. You're very dreamlike. You're very charismatic and charming and you're romantic and you're witty and clever. You're so clever and you're so funny. Oh my goodness. I was like, you're so funny, but you're not. It's like, how can you be funny truly when <laughs> you're enough to be serious or like grouchy or whatever? So I feel like, you know, just know you're not alone. This is all a part of the journey of really, truly, you know, it's like we're going through stuff right now in humanity that I don't even know. I, it's like, how, how do we do this? You know? <laughs> so we're all in this together. I feel this energy of support around you. Very nourishing, really focus on the nourishment, whatever brings you nourishment, even writing. I feel like writing will bring you a lot of nourishment to your own conscious awareness. Like just bring clarity to the thoughts in your mind and see, help you see where they're rooted, who they're coming from. Cause a lot of times when I'm writing, I can feel, I can feel like if I'm writing something and it's like, Oh, well that, where, where is this thought coming from? I can actually feel who it's rooted in that I know personally. 
And that helps me discern a lot about my own self, you know, and this is, I mean, I've been doing this forever, so not forever, but it's, you know, <laughs> it's like when you start really writing to yourself and really allowing yourself to get to know and see yourself from many different perspectives, patience here. It's like you can embrace patience. You see, you can feel the path ahead. You can feel the quality of energy. You can feel how important it is to allow patience and, you know, for life to, to play out the way it needs to. You can feel the support around you. I feel like you're really being guided right here and to have really, you know, embrace the leap of faith. It's like this woman's walking on a, you know, tightrope. It's a spider web here, the fairy. However, you know, she's taking a leap of faith because she feels the full trust in that leap. You know, she's not falling. She's not, she's not just leaping out of, you know, fear or I've got to get away from this. You know, she's trusting because she feels the trust. The universe is like, I got you. I'm holding you. You know, this is, this, this is strong. I'm holding you energetically. You've got your, she's got her wings, you know, so she can keep her balance. There's no fear in here for her. It's just. Uh, she wants to get from one side to the other. She's taking a little leap of faith here because she knows she can do it. You don't take a leap of faith unless you have faith in yourself. And that's really the truth. You know, when you honor fairness and balance and justice and all of that, the, the faith in yourself is restored. No matter how persistent you have to be, the, the faith that just continues to show up for you. So I feel like this energy here with nurturing and feminine is really going to return to your life after some more physical like having to have stamina and be more it's like I can feel this energy of softness returning to you romanticism nurturing like being able to just be in your energy the way that you are meant to and I feel a lot of love here like somebody really nurturing you like you're, it's going to be received whatever it is there's a lot of nourishing nurturing energy here for you. Stay focused. Your arrows are landing right where they need to. <laughs> it was like, I was feeling like an airplane, like guy, like yep, here this way. Uh-huh. It's like, you've had to be very physical, like directing things like fairness, balance. And now it's like, I feel like you resting and rejuvenating and really receiving the love and support energetically, even physically. So notice the signs are always going to affirm when you're on the right path. Even when you're writing, allow yourself to, um, be conscious of how you're filtering your writing, staying in tune with unconditional love, your heart, your dreams, you know, what it is that you want to manifest in your life and be fair with yourself. You know, don't over expect things for yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. Allow yourself to go slow and steady, receive the nourishment, receive, and then you'll, then you'll naturally want to give and express your energy in a certain way, you know, and as you express your energy in a certain way, then you open to receiving it back in a certain way. You know, it, it comes back to you in many different ways and you give it in many different ways. So I feel like right now you're really learning to tune into the energies that nourish your well-being, your security, your foundation, your open heart, your loving attitude, your romantic attitude, your fun, funny, humorous. You're so funny and humorous. <laughs> I can feel you. The serious business is like, all right. <laughs> It's putting a, a, a crimp on my style. <laughs> this mask, like you can wear a mask as long as it's for fun, okay? But no more wearing masks for, for like any other reason, you know? There's no other reason because you're already so, even I love it here, he's wearing his armor, but the, the face is open, you know? And he's got his cup is like, all right. <laughs> mm. I see that you know, it's like, I just, there's like a, a determined look and yet, you know, you, you are so, it's like, you're so supported. I even see the wings here. It's like, if, if you needed to hop over this little river, somehow the, the wings are just gonna like, it's like you could super jump. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so funny. It's so funny. I feel that it's like, there is like something holding you like no matter what, even when you feel too tired, it's like, no, we got you. <laughs> okay. So Trust the process, really trust it, embrace the feminine, the nourishment, eat something really good, eat your favorite meals, you know, give yourself a massage or a nice hot bath, put some makeup on, make your hair really nice. And if you're a guy, you don't have to wear makeup, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is just absolutely beautiful. Okay. See your body really fertile, really healthy. See the new ideas in your, in the palm of your hand, just sparkling, you know, like the cup. It's like this cup, 
this cup is empty and this egg it has not hatched yet but that doesn't mean this cup is always refillable you know this idea that is in this egg once the egg cracks open the the creative energy is there you know it has to kind of hibernate and incubate or or, or um <laughs> gestate or whatever however you say that you know the cup obviously we drink the liquid in it and then we have to refill it but there's no worries about that it's always refilled there's always more eggs to hatch really nurture the energy that provides those qualities for you in life and that's to be fair to yourself when your cup is full when you feel so safe and secure your well-being is that's being fair to yourself then you can be fair to everyone in the world so easily and effortlessly so easily okay so what a powerful message thank you all so much for tuning in i truly hope that it resonated and just affirmed where you're at and really nurture yourself right now. I really feel that is the most important thing for you to do to receive the nourishment that's surrounding you at this moment in time and write, write because your journey's unfolding. It's like you're writing a new story for yourself, but it's not new. It's just you. It's like your story, your story and the future of your story is all in your hands and it's all fair and balanced and beautiful and romantic and lovely and nourishing and regenerating and just so absolutely gorgeous okay so whatever you need to stay focused on you're being supported in that completely all right you guys thank you so much thank you so much for subscribing liking commenting and sharing the video i truly appreciate you all for that so much and please do connect with me on my social media those links are in the description i love connecting with you over there and um i'm sharing all sorts of things randomly whenever i've been working on tons of different things for you for all of us in so many ways you all inspire me so i'll look forward to the next message that comes through and checking back in with you all very soon and until then take amazing good care of yourselves sending all my infinite love as always peace hello group number four thank you all so much beautiful heart and souls for tuning in i truly appreciate each and every one of you so let's see what's in store what does love have in store for you we have the sun, five of wands, the knight of wands, beautiful, that kind of flipped over funny. Whew. We have the bard, music, poetry, myth, history, the enchantment of storytelling, number seven. <clears throat> we have some very divinely guided, inspired energy here, some very passionate energy, very fiery. Whoa, look at this. Smoke prayers. <coughs> okay. We have peace, number 23. A man holding a coin here. Man holding a coin. Opportunity to forgive. <clears throat> Health and healing. Just breathe. This is the Four of Swords. Just breathe. Dragonfly emergence. Keep your dreams alive, number 25. Transformation, number 16. We have a lot of fire energy here, okay? Share your thoughts, number 41, with the dragon. <laughs> you are never far from my mind, and the sword and rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Wow. Wow you're really being guided to tune into your feelings and when i say feelings i mean your true heart's feelings there's more to life than just the physical reality i feel like there's an emphasis here on for you to really really understand your dreams and how important they are to you and the story that you're telling yourself and others I feel like this is very positive for you. Love is very, very, very much surrounding you and giving you exactly what you're asking for, which is your dreams to come true, which is being with another person who sees you for you, loves you for you, adores you, has fire and passion for you, would do anything for you, even fight for you if they had to. <laughs> I feel like you're someone who is influenced by money and that's not to say that in a negative way. I feel like you're somebody who's very resourceful. You like stability. You like having a foundation that's very secure. You like knowing the money's in the bank, having your bills paid, 
very important for all of us. Okay. That's a very beautiful quality to have nothing wrong with that. However, there is more to life. It's not even about right or wrong. It's about your true happiness because this man to me looks very romantic. He looks very kind. He looks like he's really interested in whoever he's looking at here. <laughs> You know, he's, he has one coin and he's in a field, right? So this is someone who is very grateful for everything he has. You know, he makes the money. He's a good businessman. He provides for his family. He provides for himself. He, he appreciates quality over quantity. And he does that because he appreciates his family and his life. And he wants his life to continue growing. You know, he doesn't just make money to make money. And that's, I see you as someone who <clears throat> is very rooted in the foundation of love. Like your principles, your values are very much rooted in alignment. And so money is wonderful. Abundance is wonderful. And I feel like there's an energy here that's had you in your feels, you know, asking you to get out of the head and in your heart. And you're someone who is amazing at being able to share the stories. I feel of like your friendships, your family, your life. I feel like your prayers are being answered here very strongly. You're going through some sort of very quick transformation, spiritual awakening, awareness. There's health and healing that's surrounding you. <clears throat> that's very much being called for. And that's going to begin really happening here. There's an opportunity to forgive. There's some sort of forgiveness that needs to happen. Something that's had you in your head had you feeling fired up maybe even created some conflict some I feel like there's resolution here through conflict so conflict resolution staying positive focusing on peace you know I'm noticing here with the peace the egg there's some sort of very beautiful creation energy that's waiting um, just stating <laughs> however it's not going to hatch until there's a peaceful energy until it's the right moment if it hatches too soon it gets destroyed. You know, it's like there's this energy of keep your dreams alive. Keep your dreams alive. Feel your dreams. Breathe into your dreams. See your dreams. Visualize your dreams. You know, smoke prayers. As you're this fire, you know, the smoke is the prayer, not the fire itself. The fire burns everything up. The smoke is the prayer. I feel like this is an energy where the passion, the fire, whatever love, you're feeling like some deep love. There's some transformative energies that are occurring. You're feeling this loving energy you may be feeling it deep within you and not sure sure or fully aware of where it's coming from i feel like it has a lot to do with this sun energy you know i'm seeing the boy and girl i'm seeing a couple here lovers you know very much authentic in their hearts like really they see each other like we we are a team like we see each other we love each other we're in this together what are we doing the whole world is is out there for us like there's only abundance there's only prosperity and when it comes down to it the money's just like the icing on the cake you know it's like it's like really shifting it's like being able to integrate the the <laughs> the physical like type of 3d world of you know schedules and work and all of that with this beautiful new dreamy love that's entering into your life i feel like there's a lot of passion <laughs> So it's like, you know, this feeling is real. And I feel like it's a time for you to really embrace like your storytelling, your, um, your own story. And it's an opportunity to forgive and let go of anything from your past that may be holding you back from really embracing the fire and passion. Because if, if there's anything within you <clears throat> that is not honoring to the passion, so to speak, the love, it can start to really affect your own physical reality in very big ways that create a lot of stress and fear and all of this. And so it's like, don't, don't fear any sort of healing or any sort of um, relationships from the past that pop up in your mind that you need to just offer forgiveness or closure to, or even to yourself for forgiving yourself for maybe not focusing where you, it's like, there's no reason to hold on to anything from the past. Even this, um, transformation card I feel like it's <clears throat> it's all happening in divine timing the mo it looks just look like it's mullen growing but it's like everything's happening at the right season the right time you're really connecting into your mirror self your true self feeling the support and nourishment you know when you go into meditation or when you choose to really see yourself and not play into any sort of doubts or fears in your mind 
I feel like you don't even need to avoid conflict energy. However, it's like it can be around you when you're going through changes. I feel only success here. And I feel like this is like, <clears throat> this is a very quick transformation for you, like emerging into your lover self almost, even though you're a complete lover. <laughs> I feel like there's this energy here with the sword and rose of revelation. Most importantly, honor, protection, power. Like you are, you are able to bring that that energy of protection and power and presence into your reality or you're attracting it very much so i love that it's a number 43 it's a number seven yet this is all co-creation rooted in the foundation of unconditional love security um resourcefulness practicality responsibility like you really take really good responsibility of yourself of your life of your own story and you're attracting someone into your reality that is very rooted in the same principles and ideas. So I feel a man entering your life. If you're a woman, I feel like this is a divine counterpart. This is a romantic partner. This is someone who really has a lot of passion for you. <clears throat> and I feel like there's a bit of conflict here with uh, differing ideas or beliefs. However, there's this amazing quality of, of positivity or resonancy of really connecting with the true authentic self of each other and choosing peace. It's really helping you choose peace in your life and your, and whatever's happening again, a number 23 balance, harmony, co-creation, um, equal partnership and love with another person and also embracing change at the same time, choosing to embrace peace versus any sort of conflict. And this is quick action. So you may feel, um, there may be somebody here who takes action towards you very passionately and then they pull back for a moment and then they, they try again. Like there's some sort of energy here that's wanting to form, that's wanting to come into union with you. Um, somebody who is always thinking about you, like even if they're not consciously thinking of you, you're, you pop up in their awareness very often, whatever they're doing. It could be while they're working, while they're, creating their money and their legacy. Like they're thinking, who do I want next to me? And you keep popping up in their mind, share your thoughts. It may be that you need to share your thoughts a little bit more, share who you are, share more of your authenticity, share more of your opinion or your perspective on life, not to prove anything, but just to be more open. I feel like you're being guided just to be more open with who you are and just sharing your thoughts, you know, whatever they are. There's great power in sharing your authenticity and not feeling pressure to do it in any way, shape or form more. So just sharing your own experience, your own story, the bard here, music, poetry, maybe sharing more poetry or just things that inspire you looking more into your family history, history. Uh, maybe you are a storyteller. Maybe you write books. Maybe you just like to, you know, be a part of the story of your life, right? <laughs> so sharing your thoughts is important in that. And whatever prayers you've been praying for, asking for, this this is an answered prayer. What is happening is an answered prayer. And it's a lot of clarity, a lot of revelation. And I feel like there's also, you know, whoever's on your mind, you know who this is. And I see this relationship. It's truly all peace. It's like, just breathe. This is all peaceful. This is all beautiful transformation. It's like you're both emerging out of something kind of murky, you know, even here with the lotus and flowers in the pond, you know, the ponds are not exactly that clear, you know, clear water flowing down. It's more like a pond. It's muddy and kind of, you know, however, look at, you know, it's the lotus flowers, the dragonfly, she's emerging out beautiful with all this magical, you know, vegetation and awareness, like awareness, really focused can see exactly what she has her eye like what she's looking at is exactly what she wants it's exactly what she wants and it's a it's a beautiful it's like a quick revelation solidarity you're feeling very solid i feel like when you embrace the opportunity to forgive and really open up to health and healing you're going to feel better um take some vitamins drink some greens uh, feed yourself foods that nourish your body, your skin, your health, your hair. Okay. I feel like this energy of really nourishing yourself from the inside out, forgiving yourself for anything you didn't understand in the past or know from the past that you understand now, you're really going to be able to notice yourself telling your story in such beautiful ways, 
You know, I feel like there is a, a lot that you've learned from your past. And I feel like there is an inspired energy here that really allows you to take action when it's inspired to feel the sun, the warmth within yourself and to embrace any changes and understand that conflict is a part of change. Chaos is a part of change. However, it needs to happen sometimes to shake things up and for things to fall where they need to go or play, be placed where they need to go or rise, or whatever they need to do. You know, it's like the moon energy, we can fall down in the moon energy and what helps us rise the sun energy, the sun, <laughs> you know, it's seeing life as a story, you know, things happen, we have good and bad and fun times and not so fun times. However, it's the whole story that matters, right? It's the whole, your life is like a story, a movie. It's, it's your, your book, your journey, your whatever. And you are the author of your own story. You are the storyteller of your own life. And so sharing your thoughts, really allowing yourself to be open to nurturing yourself, healing yourself. And I, you know, if you're a man, you're somebody who knows what he wants. You're really into this for the right reasons. And there's such beautiful energy here. Like there's so much fun, like listening. I can see like people sitting around a campfire and just sharing stories about life and everyone feeling so connected and so intimate and so grateful. Like, it's not like you have to share wisdom or you have to share insight. It's just, you're talking, you're just talking and mutually loving each other and enjoying each other's conversation or discussion or shares or whatever it is. And, you know, with the sword and the rose, that's, it's so beautiful. You know, you may be someone who writes already and it's just like, the truth, the clarity is so beautiful to see and witness. And I feel the passion here. So be really mindful, choosing peace, choose to meditate and go within. If the thoughts become too much or just on a daily basis, I feel like if you do it every day, there's a connection here with your greater self, your, your, your true reflection. You're able to see it, notice it every day, which allows you to just embrace any sort of transformation and really keeping your dreams alive. This is a number 25 which is also a seven. So 25 again, you know, co-creation, harmony, balance, change, embracing change and not allowing yourself to move into any sort of deceptive energies, really staying in your heart, your body, not in your mind. The mind is for fun thoughts. Thoughts should be fun. Okay. Thoughts should be um, wonderful to hear and receive and share. It's a beautiful energy here. It really is. There's, there's just a sharing, caring, loving vibe. No more deception or strange things or conflict or it's like everyone's on the same page here. Okay, there may have been energies where people just weren't on the same page. They weren't quite up to par with your story. It's like they're reading your story, but they're like starting at the beginning and you're already, you know, in chapter eight. And they're like looking at you when you were a little kid instead of seeing you for who you are now. It's so kind of what it feels like the conflict's coming from. It's just simply like a a lack of understanding or perception, or maybe they haven't adjusted to your growth. And so it's not really bothering you. However, it's, you know, it, you can get frustrated. So be mindful of it. And just remember to stay focused on your story. It's like there was something here in the beginning with like fire, <laughs> you know, don't let the fire consume, allow it to transform gentle, you know, it's like there's a gentle transformation where you can when you feel the heat, you focus it in a positive way. You focus it by staying focused on the reason, the person, the, the, you know, the why moving forward as to why you're feeling that and allow it to fuel you in the most positive ways to heal you, to help you make better choices for your health, to help you make better choices for your thoughts, to help you encourage you to share your authenticity instead of saying, I'm, I can't do that. You know, there's just like this very clear energy of <clears throat> keeping your dreams alive and there's a wonderful male presence here around you, masculine presence around you that's, you know, providing wonderful um, support, I feel, when it comes to finances and just resourcefulness and stability, um, security, responsibility, like really there for you, like a really solid person there for you that makes you just feel like all is well in the world, truly, okay? So group number four, that's your message. I truly hope it resonated. I think this is so beautiful. You're definitely on someone's mind in all the best ways. They love you. They want to take care of you. They want to support you physically and invisibly. Okay, they want to be there for you. And I feel like whatever opportunities come up for you to forgive, you really need to embrace them. 
and it will heal you almost instantly. You'll feel, you'll begin to feel, you know, yourself releasing any sort of resistance and your prayers. It's like a part of your answered prayers and it frees you to be yourself and to just embrace the love that's coming for you because it's already there for you. It's just waiting for the perfect divine moment to really begin unfolding. Okay. And, and it's already here. It's already like, I can feel it. You're, you're like moving through this transformation healing where you feel, you feel the healing energy, you feel the life force, you feel the support. So this is just affirmation, you know, for you to continue feeling it and, and become stronger and more clear and just enjoying your life, like enjoying your life. It's, it's so wonderful. Okay. And all your dreams, like any dreams you've had inside of you, allow them to unfold naturally. Don't give up on them. Like this person that's entering your life, or if this is you, like this is, you know, if you're a man and there's a woman entering your life, it's like you, you too naturally feed your dreams. You keep them alive just by your presence. It's like you have this, because the connection is so balanced and beautiful and harmonious and you're both on the same page, it's like effortless. Your dreams just begin unfolding. They literally begin manifesting right before your eyes. Okay. So keep them alive. <clears throat> Always keep them alive. Keep them going. And share your thoughts. That's what helps you keep the dream alive. You share your thoughts. Okay. You share your story. You share your passion. Even the conflict you've been through. Share the conflict so that we others can, you know, see that we can get through conflict. It's no big deal when we choose to resolve it, right? Wow. Beautiful, beautiful message. Group number four. So thank you so much for being you. I truly hope it resonated and just supported and affirmed where you're at right now moving forward as well. Thank you all for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing the videos. I really appreciate you all for that. And please do connect with me over on my social media. I absolutely love connecting with all of you and seeing you over there. And until the next message comes through, I look forward to that. And until then, take care of yourselves as always. Extra good care of yourselves. And I'm sending all my infinite love as always. Peace.